Okay, so what we've got running here basically is uh, we've run the previous sequence that we had running uh, sort of pure sound into the mixer and we're taking that into the Mother 32 uh, filter via the external audio jack. Um, so as you can hear we've got something sort of quite musical that we can now modify because you've taken sort of the raw sound into the, into the filter so we can do a few things with this. So if I move the uh, the mix knob down to the external audio, that's the pure sort of sub harmonic synth you can hear. And if I move that up, you can sort of blend in the VCO. Um, just the VCO on its own sounds like this, which you know uh, sort of proves the benefit of the sub harmonics uh, is that it can really add something to your sound. Um, the pure VCO sounds quite plain, but then when we mix in with the subharmonics, you've got something quite musical there. Uh, I have added uh, a little bit of frequency modulation on the LFO just to sort of sort of separate the sounds out a bit more. We'll just try without that. The frequency modulation with this setup with the subharmonics seems to really do it a treat. You've really got to sort of adjust it just so it's right. And that's, uh, that sort of again goes to say a lot about the way in which you operate a modular synth is you've really got to sort of tweak things just uh, moving something just a nudge can really have a quite a dramatic effect on the sound What we're getting is almost like a delay effect um, between the frequency modulation and the, the subharmonics that we're getting from, from the map. Um, we can try playing around with the logarithmic to exponential to give us sort of different sounds. So again, really good for live. And as you can see, you can really get some different variances quite easily by just altering the parameters on maths. Thank you.